now 545 on this Monday morning. The school year is off and running. Hopefully you and your students are settling into a routine. But for some, it really is hard to relax when their children are away because they face some potentially scary situations. Allergies can be tough with school and all the other things going on. The school setting sometimes becomes critical for children and teenagers most at risk for anaphylaxis due to increased exposure to potential allergic triggers. So doctors say the key is to get everyone involved, teachers, counselors, the school nurse, other students, everyone, so that the risk factors go down. If someone has only had mild symptoms from their food allergy or other life-threatening allergy in the past, that doesn't guarantee that the symptoms will always be mild. They should be prepared to deal with life-threatening symptoms that might occur with the next exposure. That's why it's important in schools to have a plan in place, an action plan, uh, so that everyone in the school community, teachers, nurses, principals, knows what to do in case an allergic reaction does occur. Now, these types of allergies, oftentimes from food, insects, stings, or even things like latex, are allergic reactions that are rapid in onset and, again, can be life-threatening. It happens when someone comes into contact with a food or other trigger to which they are allergic. Now, signs of anaphylaxis include dizziness, headaches, confusion, chest pain, trouble breathing, itchy throat, rashes, and swelling of the lips or tongue. Again, Dr. Sharma says if your child is at risk, risk for anaphylaxis, you should set up a plan of treatment with the folks at school. Make sure that everyone knows what to do. Now, this is a very serious topic, and it can be very scary for moms and dads. We actually have some more information for you on our website, including a link that can help you determine if you or your children are at risk. Just go to fox10tv.com and look for the Monday Moms page. And Eric, the best thing to do is to be prepared. Thank you very much, Sarah, for those tips. Our time now.